Good morning, y'all, and welcome to today's vlog. I'm Sydney, if you're new here. It's a Saturday morning, and let me tell you, there is snow on the ground out there. There's snow. I'm looking outside the front window. There's snow. Yesterday, I went on a walk, and I said, Oh my gosh, I'm I'm a little hot, a little hot right now. I was in shorts and a short sleeve shirt, and I was hot, and now I'm seeing snow on the ground. Alabama, what are we doing? What are we doing? My last couple weeks in Alabama, and um, this is not this is not pretty. But it's a Saturday morning. I'm excited to get my day going. I'm about to go get ready for the gym right now. I just have my PJs on. I'm in a skims tank top and then my aloe pants my wide flared pants and some slippers but i'm about to make my greens and get my day started i love saturdays that i don't have like a strict schedule or I'm traveling or whatever you know what i mean just like a good little go with the flow saturday so i'm going to work out get ready for the coffee shop i'm getting my car detailed today and the reason for that, I've never had my car detailed before. I actually have never, nope. Uh, and it's always needed it, I'll tell you that much. But I lost my AirPods for quite some time. You know, flowers in the way. I lost my AirPods for like the last week and I'm thinking they've got to be in my car. I did like the find my AirPod thing and they must have died at some point like in my car. And I was like, I guess I've got to, I've got to schedule with someone to detail my car and maybe they can find them because I, I tore my car apart, tore all my bags apart, whatever. I ended up finding it in the bottom of my gym bag. I don't know how, I don't know how I missed it. 10, 10 to 20 times I looked in there, but now I have, right now I have an appointment to get my car detailed and they come to me, which is nice. So that's going on today. That was, I just digressed. I want to go grocery shopping. I need to get a couple things, like just a few things. I have I have majority of the stuff already. And yeah, just spend our, oh, and then I'm going to dinner tonight with my friends. And we're going to get sushi. So we'll get ready together. We're gonna to do our makeup together. I've already planned it out that we're gonna get our makeup. We're gonna do our makeup together. Like me and you, not my friend. We're gonna do it, um, which I've never really done my makeup on YouTube, I don't think, and then pick out an outfit together. It's gonna be the whole shebang, you know? So let's spend the day together. And I'm thankful you're here. Let's get into it. Let's start with our greens. And I already filled up my giant water bottle. It's that's the most addicting show in the world. It really is. And um, I just That's fun and it's so tall that I don't even think that I can reach it with my little step ladder that I have, but that's okay. Um, so we blindly went and chose the light blue flow Y bra and then I'm gonna wear my navy aligns. And these are the best no-show socks ever. They're from Lululemon, they're literally all I wear. They kind of get worn out quickly. Well, not quickly, but like I definitely replace them every once in a while, but um, this is a brand new pair and they are la bomb. And I'm also gonna wear my Nike Space Hippies, so let's get dressed. All right, here's the outfit. This is a cute little color combo right here. And then I'm wearing this perfectly oversized crew by Lululemon. Of course. I didn't know how I felt about this green, but it's growing on me. And I have pretty much every color in there. And of course we need a sweatshirt because it is freezing outside and I'm not happy about it. Are y'all out here listening to the song Handsomer on repeat? Like the part that says, I gets money baby, I just like to spend yours first. I don't know why. I, I don't even really like listen to that kind of music that much. But like, I do like Ross a lot. But that remix is like, I, I just put repeat, repeat, repeat. Let's just keep listening to it. Oh. A text message, I think. Alexa, play Red Rocks for 
finish it. Okay, I'm making a little protein smoothie. Just got home from the gym and I'm gonna do like a chocolate covered strawberry inspired protein shake. I'm gonna do vegan protein powder, chocolate. Some frozen strawberries. Let's get you over here. spinach in there but I actually am out of spinach so that's why we need to go grocery shopping today blend that up okay clearly my smoothie was good I just downed it in 24 seconds I have back on my pajamas that you saw me wearing this morning and that's what I'm wearing to the coffee shop throw on this veil sweatshirt and I have my Yeezy slides on. I'm trying to be as comfortable as possible. Comfy as possible. So here's what we got going on, because we've got a lot going on over here. I had um, a Sephora package come. I already took out. I should cover up my, my address. Brooke, an Amazon package that I got. I think that's almond butter in there, because I have every time my grocery store is out of it, I'm like, ah! Um, I got Brooklyn in package, which I'm so excited, but I'm keeping these packages for my next um, apartment. So Brooklyn, and I think I have a set of towels and sheets and whatnot in there. And then I got a new um, Ninja Bullet blender. And then this is one out of three of my new counter stools. So I will open those and I will put those together once the other two get here so that they're easy to move into my next place but I'm so excited. So we've got a collection over here right now. It's it's just, that it is what it is, you know? But I'm going to head to the coffee shop. We're nice and comfy because it's freezing outside and let's get some work done. I've got lots of client check-ins to do and set up my new client's training program. So typically Saturday, I find myself at a coffee shop for many hours. This is a look. This is a look. Okay, we've got a lot going on for lunch right now. I'm snacking on mango. Let me turn off this fan because it's so loud. I've got green beans and butternut squash going in the air fryer. I did 170 grams of each, so quite a lot of veggies. And then I have quinoa in the microwave, so that's done now. And I just did this organic quinoa. Super super good macros and I love it. And I'm going to do like little lettuce wraps. I was trying to decide between a bowl and lettuce wraps, but I think I'm gonna do little lettuce wraps with quinoa and then um, have the ground turkey and salsa with it. But right now, appetizer, if you will, some mango chunks. And here's what I use to season my ground turkey and I do 99% lean ground turkey. All right, here's my final product of lunch. And of course, I'm gonna eat outside because it's so dang nice out. So I'm gonna sit right here and eat. Yum. Okay, it's been a little bit and I just got home from Lululemon. I'm here to tell you that you need to get your brother, your, your husband, your boyfriend, your dad, I don't really care. You need to get them some Lululemon right now because they have the best guy stuff right now. So let's just show you. Literally the only thing I got for myself was this pack of socks, the no-show sock, which that's the best kind of socks. But these swim trunks for guys, are we joking? Are we joking? The guy stuff right now is unreal. So this is like a super light blue 
really cute color. And then these are like almost like a, uh, what is this? Like an ivory look? I don't know the actual color. But um, maybe just white. Maybe they're just considered white. But no, they're like an off, off ivory. I would go with ivory. But they're the Pace Breaker Short and 7 inch. Love that color. And then these ones are like the star of the freaking show. Same ones. I think these are Pace Breakers as well. 7 inch. And these are the liner lists. Um, depends on what, what your man's boyfriend, brother, mother, father likes. Tough. So now it's time to go get ready for dinner. And we're going to get sushi. And it's still really cold out. So I don't have a dang clue on what I'm going to wear. I do want to wear my new Levi jeans though. I do know that much. So let's go get ready. I just have YouTube on right now and I am watching some vlogs while I get ready, but I figured let's get ready together. Let's do it. Um, so I already put lotion on my face and I'm going to do flawless filter and also my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. The combo is unmatched. It's unmatched. So I'm going to put some of that on. I do shade 5.75 in the Giorgio Armani and then I do the 4.5 in Flawless Filter. I actually just got new ones in so that will tell you that I think they're worth restocking on. And I'm using a wet beauty blender, blend that all in. My lighting looks actually pretty good on my camera but it looks crazy in my mirror right now. Like It's getting kind of dark outside so... We're gonna go for it though and hope that my makeup turns out. I'm gonna play my YouTube vlogs, but I'm still gonna show you guys what I use. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the Aussie Cup Show. And so they represent a ton of brands, really cool, unique designers that I had never really heard of before. So I love that. First thing, I'm amazing for a fun um, summer, spring moment. I love this clutch. Beautiful, it's pink, and it also does have a chain, but I think I'm just gonna hold it like this. And then the moment, so cute, I'm obsessed. And then he pulled this, also from Height, and it's a cover up. Like, how sick is that? That's so, um, like, I don't know. I've like been like, not super cold recently either. It's really weird. I don't know. Anyways, you guys don't care, but let's go. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys. So much is happening. I feel like so great. Freaking out. The styling session went amazing. Danielle was so cool. Alex was. So here's one. Then we have okay, I'm back to chatting with you guys. Um, I have been using the Rare Beauty blush cream blush i guess and then also the milk cream contour and i'm really liking it i've just been using like this i don't know just this brush this is the pro foundation by sephora i understand that it's probably not the right one to use but i feel like it helps me like get my little cream contour on because what i was doing is i was like making harsh lines with it and it was really hard to blend out so i feel like this keeps it in one area but it kind of I don't know. It's easier to blend than it was when I was just doing harsh lines. And then the Rare Beauty blush, you really don't need that much of it. You just need a little smidge of that. I just do a tiny bit, which actually that's probably way too much. And then I blot that out with a wet beauty blender. I love lots of blush though. I remember like growing up, I always wanted to do like as just matte as I could on my face, like bronze, and I never did any blush. And my mom would always say, you need some rouge, some rouge. I'm like, what the heck is rouge, mom? No, I don't. And she'd always tell me, I'm going to put some blush on you. And that was like throughout high school, even early on in college, like she would always say that I needed rouge. I think that's the word that she would use. And I'm like, no. And now I'm like, where else can I put some blush? It's getting dark out, so who knows if you're even gonna be able to see what I'm doing, but good thing, because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to eyeshadow anyways. 
It's a good thing there's really no rules when it comes to makeup because I don't really know what I'm doing anyways. I've been doing this NYX sketch and set and you just kind of like fill in where your eyebrows are lacking. And then I also use Anastasia Brow Freeze and this stuff is phenomenal as well. I just use like a little spoolie and I do it after. I don't know if most people do it before or after they put on some like color on their brows, but I do it afterwards. And I feel like it just keeps your brows kind of giving that like laminated look. Keeps them all, it freezes them. Brow freeze, what a name. You see? I need some lip color because my lips are looking crazy with this foundation all over it. Trusting the process. Okay, hair and makeup, pretty much done. We're going with it. Um, I'm gonna wear these Levi Dad jeans and haven't even worn them yet, but I'm determined because I actually bought these in a bigger size and they were too big, so I bought them in a smaller size. Long story short, we're hoping they fit perfectly because I really don't have that much time. I have like 30 minutes to be ready. Here's my hair and makeup. Okay, I won't lie. I actually really like the way that this came together. I've got this gray oversized um, blazer on. I've got my, I think these are Steve Madden heels and then my dad jeans and my YSL purse. going home after dinner because that likely I mean we might be able to do a couple more dinners but like I just took it for granted living in the same town as my best friend and now I'm like oh the times are dwindling down towards the end and I'm just oh I do not like the idea of not living in the same area as them anyway I'm gonna wash my face and start some tea then yeah, girl, it's gonna lay down. It's literally 9.15 and I'm gonna watch some Love is Blind. I watched more of Inventing Anna earlier today, like probably only half of an episode, but that show is, I'm intrigued. I'm definitely hooked on that show. So y'all will have to let me know what you guys think about it, but obviously don't um, spoil anything for me in Inventing Anna or Love is Blind. This like last year or so, I have not really watched many shows. Um, and these two I'm like super hooked on. So during COVID and everything, when we had shut down, I watched like every show and I remember being like, I can't even think of other shows that I wanna watch. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, what, I have so many options. I watched Tinder Swindler and that one was crazy. And I'm watching a little bit of Inventing Anna. They're really long episodes though, so it takes me forever to even get through one episode. Making tea, getting ready for bed, and I'm gonna do my skincare routine for sure. All I'm gonna do is just cleanse my face and put on some lotion, but, so nothing crazy to see. And also I just wanted to say, like, thank you guys so much to those of you who have subscribed. I never say in here, like, subscribe, like, do all of this. I always forget to say something like that, but like I am so incredibly grateful because this is my first, I think I started my YouTube channel like in the last seven, six, seven months. So like, I'm so thankful for y'all that have helped me grow this and over this, this past year. Um, and yes, I'm just so thankful and I love this community. I feel like 
YouTube, I'm able to show more of myself than um, the filtered reality of you, of TikTok and Instagram. Um, I know TikTok is a little less filtered than than Instagram, and like, you know, I just feel like on YouTube, we're just a bunch of besties hanging out. Like we're on FaceTime. I I just love. I think that YouTube is definitely, even though it's my smallest platform. Comparatively speaking, like, you know, when it comes to Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, but I feel like it's more of like this tight, tight knit community. And I love seeing y'all's comments. I love um, connecting with y'all. And yeah, so I'm just thankful for y'all. That's just me saying thank you guys for helping me grow this platform, but also being such a fun, encouraging um, group of people over here on YouTube. So I love y'all, and I'll see you next time.